the man that's the man himself that's that's uh who we saw on slappy video and as we got here what you guys are about to see right now is remarkable yes we got more videos coming up from this weekend or i would say this week of thunder beach but i just want to show you this part i want to make a real quick video and show you this so if you're a rider and you have excuses that well i can't ride because i'm too short this short woman you're going to see been doing this for 20 years and she have her bike well actually she have a trike modified to fit her i'm going to show you this video and <laughs> tell me what you think now trust me we got more videos coming out from the entire week we out riding last night we got nightlife we got beach videos coming out all these type of things so we actually like it here well we like it because the room our room go right down to the beach but the video you're about to see we are Ams amsel getting out oil change with amsel adams and the video you're about to see i had to put this up before we start really editing videos from this weekend so you can really see this it's gonna be a short video but see her hear her story see her trike it is beautiful it's amazing they go sneaking behind me again look i think i'm not getting them off on, on, on video but that's absolutely and so you should not have an excuse for riding just because you're short modify your bike do what you got to do to get out on the road have a good time and matter of fact she actually tell a story of what they're doing next year so i'm not even gonna talk about that let her tell it so watch this video make sure you comment below because comments was drives us we love them check it out talk about what your plans are for next year so next year hopefully we can do uh, route 66 uh maybe some pacific coast highway uh we're definitely going to be out in sturgis doing the deadwood rally uh the three world rally in deadwood and then sturgis uh, and then maybe hopefully in 25 we can go to alaska oh yeah yeah show them what you're riding got to figure out whether or not i can take miss may here my three-wheeler to alaska what you call it miss may her name's miss may miss may yep miss may isn't that beautiful she's been modified to a ride for a four foot nine rider oh wow <laughs> yeah. back up stand next to her kate four yeah. foot nine i'm four taller than that look she is definitely wow. <laughs> Kick actually yeah. taller than somebody. Four foot nine, and she rolling all over I'm the place. Yeah. So I put the mid step trike, uh, mm -hmm. mid step on it. Oh, to step up. To step yeah. up. I got my. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh. What? My <laughs> <laughs> she got a board. Yeah, I didn't bother. Because my, my feet don't reach. They kind of it. Like, right. It's too. Yeah. And then I have my very special handlebars. They're called Helix. H -E yes. The Helix. The Helix bars. So from stock, they're down and pulled in 18 inches from stock. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. And, and tell, her where, tell everybody where we are. We are at Frank Brown Park here in Panama at the Thunder Beach Bike Rally at the Amsoil Adams 10. Now, tell she done all that to her bike. You have no excuse for riding if you're short. <laughs> you gotta ride, you gotta go out and travel. What you saying, baby? Her name is Amber Amanda. Amanda. Oh, Amber. Amber's my alter ego, though. See? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what she said. So, say it again. It's what? It's Amanda. Amanda. But like he said, yes. come by and see me. If you're tiny and you're short and you want to ride, you come by and see me. I've been doing this for over 20 years wow. on everything from two wheels on sport bikes to now a Harley trike. Wow. Two wheels, sport bike, and now a Harley trike. Right. <laughs> Cool, I like it. Yeah, it's getting pretty thick out here. Look at the sea of bikes now. I don't know if this camera gonna pick it up from that far, but Kick about to get some new tire from JP Cycle. And then she bring it over here to get the free bike cleaning. Let me show you. When we're on a road, we very, very seldom clean our bike. And it's free bike cleaning right there. You got your bike there already? Getting clean? No, it's not my bike. Oh. <laughs> my bike's out there, but I'm looking. So yeah, it's free. Can't be free. So y'all know how a favorite word is free. Free, 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 free. Already got mine done. And they're using uh, Bug Slide. Of course, I've heard of it before. That and F11 is supposed to be on the top of the game. But some people swear by other things. Oh, 
we're getting our, our new tires, bike clean, then we're gonna finish rolling, roaming around all over the place. Yeah, we giving me my money back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, it's better than nothing. You got some change. I got change. I left some change on that. You left change on it. <laughs> yeah, a little change. They can slap it right there. Yep, yep. Slap it, put it in. Yeah, got his free clean today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at red F6B. When those first came out, I was going to get the F6B. I saw the red one and I hated it. I hate it. I, I don't, hated I don't it. want nothing red. I, I didn't mind. I didn't know that was the only time he had me when he first came out in 2013. Yeah. And we were we were riding in a car in Los Angeles. And I said, okay, they go one of them, them gold wings put out the trunk. So I looked down at it. It looked like a toy. Yeah. But there goes Slappy. What's say, fellas? See how that look? Look at that. Look at that. Yep. He got a free cleaning. Yeah. You know what my favorite words are? Free, 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 free. 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 Free, free, free. <laughs> <laughs> but they had that thing gonna see that I was gonna buy one, but they don't make it for the F6B. Oh wow. Yeah, but they but he's gonna get my he's gonna take me, I'm gonna take my seat off and he's gonna fix one up for me. Today? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the no. Oh. But I but he's in Chattanooga. Oh so right around the corner. Yeah, I know. He said, yeah. if I had a seat, I said, I'll bring it to you, buddy. Yeah. yeah. So she getting a tire that she bring right there and get a bike clean. They done mine already. Okay. So I got my free clean Phoebe. And you know how filthy mine was. She even cleaned the pipes. She did. It looked good. And, and I wanted to get black pipes on it. Look how low you been getting on that thing. The what? You getting the body. You getting low on the body. Look at that. Low on like the what? Leaning it. Leaning. Yeah, you see that peg? Uh, yeah. That's what you're looking at? I'm looking at that the, the, the gray with the uh, on down below that. See a little. Oh, that scrape at the bottom? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's from dropping it. Oh. <laughs> Just what is this? Today, this is the breezy rider. It's a cushion that becomes a cover that goes on over your seat. It has an upholstered look. It's a cover that has a drawstring and webbing and buckles and Velcro that goes on very firmly and uh, securely over your seat. Over here is an example of my demo. This is a breezy rider that's actually on a, uh, a seat here. This is a touring seat. The features of this cover is the foam. It starts out articulated foam, which is outdoor furniture. When the rain goes through it on your patio and it dries quickly, we have it coated in silicone. The silicone also repels repels water, because if it didn't, you'd have to wring this out. So it's gonna beat up. Um, silicone also doesn't transfer heat. It doesn't get really hot and it doesn't get cold. Right. So we make this part of the cushion that you're now gonna be sitting on, you're gonna start out not hot anyway. So when you have the silicone that coats the reticulated foam, it keeps the air cells fat, not flat. That gives you a chance for your bones to sink down into it and be cushioned so that when you take the rod, you cannot bottom out. Right. When you bottom out on your seat, that's the part where your bones are pounding the seat and giving you pain. When you're bottomed out, you're squeezing off the blood su supply to your butt and you've got lack of circulation, you go numb. So this is a way for you to ride comfortably a long time and not have uh, the numbness. We also have this airflow material. It's called spacer fabric. It's used in the medical industry and back braces and knee braces. It's a wick away airflow oh, wow. material. It also, because it's used on knees and backs and the body does so much sweating, it's got a two phase change technology where it goes cooler in two different levels. So when this is in the sunshine, as soon as you put a shadow over it, be it a hand or a hat, it will not hold heat anymore. And then it will go down two different levels of cool. You can actually feel the coolness after about 10 seconds. And then there's a second layer of coolness. So you won't get that searing heat through your jeans anymore. Flip it over. We've got the UV protection on this material and the thread is coated as well. A one year warranty mm -hmm. on the fabric from the craftsmanship. We have great confidence it's gonna be fine outside. The bottom is the bottom of a wheelchair cushion, which is an industry we came out of. On a wheelchair, it means that the patient can't slip out if they slump forward. On a motorcycle, when you put this on, it's nice and tight over your seat. There's no motion or movement or migration at all because of the little nubbies that are on this slip knot. It's got holes in it, it's called perforated, so you continue yeah, to have the air flow through and the rain go through, yeah. so you don't bother, uh, bother your seat that's underneath, and you continue to wick away from your body for any sweat or rain that you've got.
Put it in the washing machine. In case a bear runs out, you poop your pants. Yeah. It's the best product to have. I like the glasses. Air, air, air. This will be your best asset. All right. Sore no more. Put a breeze between your knees. There you go. And we thank you. I told you she's a nerd. Brandon, see, she says, "Ever worth the money down the street, Brandon?"